Hello and welcome to the third episode of Quick Save, the weekly gaming podcast where we're anything but quick. My name's Dylan Murphy, and as always, I'm joined by my trusty co-hosts, Tommy Campbell. Hey, howdy. Jake Campbell. Yo. And Tyler Allen. Hello. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Uh, not bad. Not too half bad. Doing pretty good. Pretty doing good. all right. Cool, cool. All right. Well, so for today's topic, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Uh, recently, there's been a particular game taking both the internet and our lives by storm, and that's Animal Crossing New Horizons. I wanted to use this episode for us to have a little discussion about it, what we love, what we don't, and just our overall general feelings. Uh, so who wants to go ahead and start us off? Uh, I can go ahead and start. Right. Um, go ahead, Jake. Animal Crossing for me, um, it's actually, it's kind of been, it's pretty relieving, right? You know, it's a very, it's a very slow paced game. Um, or not really slow it's really your pace mm -hmm. kind of game right right and it's just the best game that you can have really about just going through real life you know getting your home built up expanding your home paying off your debt to tom nook the you know the landlord and then just really making <laughs> the metaphorical american dream your reality in animal crossing right mm -hmm. and just kind of figuring out how you want to experience the game like do you want to go and pick your fruit trees and sell those off do you want to design your town to be some sort of zen garden or maybe you want to you know design your home to where all of your colors match up together and maybe you look like some sort of oh what's it called some sort of like surfer hangout or whatever you really want to do mm -hmm. it's there for you to do um, yeah the customization that they, they they put into the game really kind of pushes you to just make everything your own yeah and they expanded on the customization in you know in a few different ways right mm -hmm. you can put furniture on the island you can put furniture in your home you can customize like most of the furniture that you get through the workbench mm -hmm. and you can even customize your clothing which which you know i'm pretty sure a few of us are very happy about um i gotta say my biggest likes is really that there's just unlimited possibilities with how you want to spend your time like mm -hmm. you know just kind of going back to what i was saying originally um you really just choose and you have that freedom of choice um but yeah i mean if i had to get into any other parts you can really modify your town however you want it right like mm -hmm. do you want this pathway here to maybe lead into a cafe or do you want this pathway over here to go into a forest you know, things like that um if i had to get into the dislikes mm -hmm. i'd really wish they would just kind of condense the crafting make it a little bit easier to work with like expanding on you know making multiple things at once if i can buy five items in bulk why can't i craft five items in bulk you see what i'm saying yeah there's like an artificial bloating to it that just kind of feels out of place like do i want to press <laughs> a 20 times to make you know 10 fishing bait right like i i usually it, slip I off my three times and be done <laughs> right i i slip off my joy con and i just kind of do something while pressing a repeatedly um it's not a great system for sure yeah and um mm -hmm. if i had to choose like one other thing if i had to mm -hmm. i would i would just choose like you know the time gate right it's not the biggest deal you know it's everybody's game you know i time skip myself you know some other people do some people don't it's really up to the player at the end of the day but getting more on that it feels dated you know kind of locking the progress behind a t an artificial time gate i guess because you can time skip right. but yeah that's just kind of how i feel on that part okay fair enough all fair points um what about Tommy? What, do you, what are your thoughts? So with Animal Crossing, my f my favorite thing about it is that it's just it's a very relaxing game. Um, coming from most of the games where their main draw is competitiveness and progression, Animal Crossing is is a, just a game based in freedom. Um, it's really it's your island, your town, your village, and it's yours to do with you as you, you please. Mm -hmm. um, you may not be the owner quote-unquote of the island because mm -hmm. tom nook has really you know he came come in there and buy it and said here it's basically your island but i own it mm -hmm. i own you <laughs> and uh so <clears throat> but yeah that my favorite thing 
is is absolutely the freedom. Um, build it the way you want, whatever projects you want to do. My first project was starting an orchard and then using the in-game designer to make my own icons before I realized you could just grab some from other people. And so I went through and actually created little pixel icons on my own to represent each of the different fruits so I could have my own little orchard in the back, have it nice and organized. Mm -hmm. And then I saw you could just get other people's icons. It looked far, far better. But I haven't changed them because I like my icons. There you go. Have a little um, And it's just... Exactly. Right. It's just... Dedication. To mm -hmm. show that, you know, you can do anything you want in that game. Um, build two bridges next to each other for some terrible reason. You can do it, though. Yep. Um, and that's... That really is... Jake said, you know, it's not a fast pace or slow pace, and that's absolutely right. It's your pace. Um, if you choose to time travel to see more content, sure. If you choose to go the day-by-day -day route, absolutely, more power to you. It is the freedom of the game that makes it so great, and having the ability to just your projects, your way, when you want it. Um, play it day-by-day, day. you know, take a few days off and don't come back. Your villagers will still even miss you you know where you been and that that's actually kind of a cool feeling like mm -hmm. to know that you know you are a part of this island and when you're not there your villagers you know not not they're sentient or anything but your villagers still know hey he's missing and that's kind of cool um yeah it's the illusion of them kind of going about their day without right you there. yeah mm -hmm. like and uh Bonding with the villagers is also really a really cool thing. Like I, I enjoy that you know they do have not completely distinct personalities because it's kind of a preset, but they they with their own keywords and everything and what they might be wearing, they do still feel like they're their own little people. And so that's that's kind of a fun thing too is seeing who you get. Mm -hmm. um, but on to to go into that further on something I don't like is not being able to kick off the villagers I don't want, right? Because there's absolutely, there's some villagers you just don't want to have around. Either they're ugly, um, they have a bad personality, or they're pop stars. And <laughs> I, I don't care for pop star villagers. Fair enough. Oof. So, um, but it's, that, that still comes into freedom, though. If you, know, you can ignore them or sequester them away from everyone, you can, you'll find a way to you know, be rid of them. So... Uh, that's that'll be it for me for that <laughs> fair enough good points okay what about you tyler what do you think um i've actually really been enjoying it um i know it's not necessarily popular opinion but uh i've actually been enjoying the time constraints on it because it's sort of just mm. applied like a different pace to this game in comparison to some of his contemporaries or just other modern games you know um i think that the fact that it sort of naturally uh, prevents me from just sitting and playing long sessions, or at least tries to, you know, it's not like you can't do it or anything like that. Yeah, uh, right. It's sort of refreshing, and it gives me a reason to kind of just check in every day, which sort of fits nicely in tune with the theme of the game, you know, uh, just this idea of sort of existing in this world that exists without you sort of building off of what Tommy said, you know, I think that that's really awesome. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it sort of stretched out the the appeal of this game for me as well, which I like a lot. Um, because I'm distracted pretty easily, but this one's managed to hold my attention for months on end. I was playing it earlier today, you know. Uh, it's real cool, and that's without getting terraforming. Actually, I I still have not done that despite uh, you know, the amount of time I put into it. So, yeah, that's kind of nutty. Because, like, I feel like that's where, for me, the game really opened up was, like, getting the terraforming tools and, and being able to make paths and, and, and mountains and my own, like, rivers. Yeah, see, it opened up for me when I got the thread shop. Mm -hmm. So now I can just constantly have a fresh outfit that I would realistically wear in the real world but would not want to pay for. That's a fair point. And no one will judge me for wearing fake Yeezys in Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> those are hideous shoes i hate them i hate them so much are you talking about the high-tech sneakers yeah i hate those i hate them <laughs> then again i mean like i only really like the the rubber high top that the converse lookalikes i like those a lot or the faux, oh, okay the faux running shoes or whatever yeah, yeah. The ancient yeah. boots ancient oh, boots <laughs> yeah i don't even know what those are 
uh, there's they're meant to go with like the the kingly set or the royal set. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. They're, they're pretty plain standard boots. Okay, I gotcha. All right. Any dislikes, Tyler? Yeah, um, I think that sometimes it's a bit irksome to have to just constantly scroll through menus. Yeah. Um, you know, just going through all of these different dialogue options can get kind of tiresome at a certain point. I think mm -hmm. uh, just a uh, little little quality of life stuff like that. They just it tends to like artificially lengthen the game, like or your playtime a little bit. Just going through all of these different dialogue options. Mm -hmm. If you spam press B, sometimes you accidentally cancel out of it and have to do it again. So be patient, kids. Yeah. And then yeah, I don't know. It's that kind of stuff will actually kind of drain me and you know prevent me from playing it at certain points if I don't feel like you know dealing with it. But I mean, it's it's a nitpick. Honestly, it's kind of hard to complain about the game. It's so like easygoing and everything mm -hmm. sort of has like Zen like quality. So, yeah, very few complaints. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Any complaints that I have are really just kind of nitpicks. Um, the menus, right. menus within menus system is kind of weird and it feels bloated and chunky and it doesn't need to be right. Like I've completed the, the game right i got the kk concert but like at the top of my 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 dialogue options with tom nook i can still ask him what i should do and his response is i don't know you've done everything like why is that still <laughs> there like why is that like still an option like i don't know and yeah having to be told that manila clams are my favorite flavor of clams repeatedly or the sea bass right like i i don't <laughs> i don't need to know <laughs> <laughs> what this thing is i know what this thing is um and i think just the fact that the crafting table or the diy bench isn't in any way connected to your house storage is mm -hmm. a, a little bit annoying it's a little stupid right like why do i have to pull Thank it you. out of my house storage to then go to the workbench it should just know yeah um and yeah not being able to craft multiple things at once if i can buy multiple things at once why isn't that a thing? Um, and to specifically uh, fishing bait, why can't I just buy fishing bait if not from Tom Nook, but from CJ when he event like occasionally pops up? You know, like that's a very good point. There's little things like that. Like again, all nitpicks, nothing that diminishes my experience with this game. Um, I, I've put in, I think, 120 hours or so in the in the month that it's been out, month and a half. Um, Wow. And I'm just, I'm loving it. Like I have nice. all these big plans uh, that are probably going to, once they're complete, be blown up for even bigger plans. Like I'm constantly impressed and inspired by the community. Um, especially the, the, the subreddit for animal crossing has just been like every day. There's something else I'm screenshotting and like for future development down the road. Um, right. Like there was this one, on there where they had a village like a deer villager like a jackal or whatever mm -hmm. and they're it looks like they're drinking orange soda and they made it look like a fanta advertisement <laughs> that's beautiful <laughs> that's and it, that. it looks good it looks really good but mm -hmm. it really just goes to show you how creative the community can get or like if you know you have a whole room just dedicated to turnips because yeah. you know the turnip market the stock market <laughs> <laughs> stock market it's a, yeah, a really great I, I guess it's been a, in the other games before but i, I never experienced it before it's a, it's it's just, it's just a nice little touch a cool little system haha yeah. turn up printer gold <laughs> <laughs> um another thing that's cool um mm -hmm. how you guys have the you guys know the design the designer right like the custom designs that you can put on the on like your clothes on the ground and everything right i know of it i have not used uh used it once so there's one thing that i do that i don't know if a lot of people do tommy actually got me into it right mm -hmm. um it's getting the fruit icons right like your cherries your peaches your pears what mm -hmm. have you and putting it on the ground directly next to the tree so that way you always know what tree is what or going and putting a bell symbol next to your money trees so you mm -hmm. always know where your money trees are if you're you know putting them a good ways away you know what i mean mm -hmm. 
and you can make all sorts of different designs right you can change your flag design you can just change really about any kind of design that you want i know some people put on a like adidas clothes in the game mm-hmm. and <laughs> recreating yeah, brands really creative <laughs> yeah i've seen like uh villager specific welcome mats that people have been placing in front of all the villagers houses so they know oh, yeah. who's where which is just a nice little touch um yeah the customization in this game i think just makes it a lot more like for me a more engaging game uh this is oh yeah the the animal crossing i've definitely put in the most hours into um and i don't see myself stopping anytime soon like there's just the fact the terraforming ability to make the island exactly how i want it um Mm -hmm. gives me some some connection i haven't had before uh as well as just like the happy home designer tools to be able to customize the inside of my house. I can move posters wherever I want. I can move the carpet or the rugs to this exact spot that I want. Like it's just little things that I didn't think about uh, before that just have, I don't know, pushed this game to a whole nother level. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. it, It goes so deep. And I feel like just because of that, it's, I feel like you have to make a lot less compromises when it comes to like what your vision is yeah. for both, you know, your island, your home itself, your characters, like kind of across the board. Cause so. I know but in the previous games, correct me if I'm wrong, but you couldn't really change the furniture color. Is that right? You could, you, you couldn't do it yourself. You had to go to um, Reese and I forget the pink alpaca. Uh, Mm -hmm. but there was an actual building that you would take your stuff to and be like, I want this color for this, but now you have the ability to do it yourself, which is just nice. Kind of streamlines it a bit. Not everything is customizable, which is annoying that I can buy green street lamps, but I can't change the color of them. Like what are you, what are you guys street lamps? Are you, are yours green as well? Do you know? Oh, is it the street lamp is what's from, uh, the nook miles nooks. Yeah. Yeah. So it seems that, those the colorations are specific maybe to each island um like the the dinosaur godzilla statue uh-huh. right like i have a purple one and i have a solid red one. dark purple yeah i have a red one too oh yeah i got a red one oh wow Dang, cool you got a purple one <laughs> i thought <laughs> uh, i thought that everyone's does everybody different. have a green one that's what i want to know a little bit of godzilla uh, green's not a creative color but it's godzilla right or something <laughs> Well, maybe that. they specifically won't let you have a green one. That's true. Yeah. Copyright. Like, even uh, airport colors are specific to islands. Like, mine is blue. Does anybody have mine's a different color? Green. Green? Okay. Mine's blue. Mine's blue. Okay. What the heck? Weird. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. And it's, yeah, it's little things like that that's just like, okay, like, it, unnecessary, right? Why do the airports have to be different colors? But it is just that sense of, like, okay, this is a little bit more mine. Because not everybody is blue or green. Speaking right. of the airport, why can I not move the airport? Why can't I push it to a different spot in the island? Why can't I center it to where it goes directly into the resident services? That's what bothers me. Why can't I move at least the resident services within a certain... Yeah. Fr- yes. Like I, I know I can't put resident services up in the, the, the top corner or something. I get that, but... God, let me let me move it around in this patch, right? It's not centered. Right. Listen, this is Tom Nook's world, and you're just living in it. That's that's bullshit. We gotta burn that's, it down. We gotta burn it. That's all a down. small country of Tom Nook within your island. His uh, his plaza will reign supreme. It's a monster <laughs> kingdom forever and always. He has sovereignty. Okay. So, mm-hmm. villagers, villagers, right? Yeah, villagers. Villagers. That's it's. Okay. I feel one of the biggest parts of the game, you know, you got your customization, you got your building your town, but then it's about who is inhabiting your town. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Because, and everyone has their preference. Like, you know, I, I don't like pop stars. So for a little while, you know, getting rid of villagers is something you hear a lot about to the points where there is a almost black market for villagers right now. Oh yeah. Uh, Nookazon. <laughs> wait, and, no, wait, hold on. Really? Yeah, it's Nookazon? called Nookazon. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm learning about this right now. The black market for villagers. I didn't know um, about this. And there, there are definitely some that are immensely more popular than others, like Raymond, the cat with heterochromia. Yeah. Um, 
I want to say there's another cat named Bob. Bob is and, popular. Yep. Um, Drago. I, Drago. Uh, Julian, I think, is the unicorn. So I oh think he's goodness. up there. But it's crazy that, you know, we go through these little things with villagers. Like, we all have our own scraps with our villagers, aside from Tyler, who has perfect family. Tyler's got, like, four stuff. villagers. He can't... <laughs> he, he, no. <laughs> Whatever, four villagers who don't suck, okay? <laughs> I'm just blessed. Damn. All right. But, All right. you know, it goes from, like, the different things you hear to get rid of some of those villagers. The initial thing being, you know, do you ignore them or do you make them angry? And I took the route of making one of them angry, and she's still here with me today. Even though I have now sequestered her house in the mountains... She is completely alone, and she's not able to come to town anymore, and she doesn't. Don't talk to her. And she has still... I've gone through three other villagers, and she has still not tried moving at all. <laughs> that is comically evil. I love yeah. it. I do love it, too. <laughs> yeah. the, the king will do as he pleases, and she is... I, I have deranked her to the lowest peon. I'm thinking about putting, like, weird little things over by her house and stuff like that, too. Like... Um, there's the, the gnome that w wears the sunglasses and he points. And I, th I like to think of that gnome as being evil, making fun of people. Like I have it in like, I have my bottom floor basement is like a dungeon and he's in there. Oh my God. Oh my <laughs> and so God. I'm going to get more of those and put them around her house. I have, um, my basement. It looks kind of like a heist room, right? Where it has like the big bell rug. It has like a safe. It looks like I have like a safe cracking kit. I have like these all different rewards that have my great fantastic past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually it's... don't have my basement yet, but I've got a bunch of instruments that I plan on putting down there, setting up a little home studio. Have you guys <laughs> seen some of the videos that have been coming out of people recreating music, like like uh, like recognizable soundtracks and songs with the instruments in the game? No. Really? No, I watched a Persona Five theme song of yep. that someone made in Animal Crossing: New Horizons. It's impressive. Wow. It's really impressive. It is. It's it is pretty sweet. I saw that yeah. video too. I've been mm -hmm. setting up an instrumental room myself. Oh, nice! Very nice. Good taste. Yep. I just bought yeah, a I have piano with a big green rug, and I have a saxophone and a microphone. Nice. So all I need. Well, I haven't seen a saxophone need. yet. I haven't either. That's all I need. I got, one I be, I got a harp. Sister. I love the harp. <laughs> Bro, I spent one hundred and forty thousand bells on a violin yesterday. <laughs> Two hundred and sixty thousand on a grand piano. How much you get on my level? Man. But, oh yeah. wow! I got a grand piano, yeah. um, cello, uh, guitar, cool. acoustic guitar. Got a ukulele. Microphone. No, I have a ukulele. No, I got. I got a ukulele and a guitar, uh, an acoustic guitar. I, I got some marimbas. Oh shit, dude! <laughs> yeah, I got a gong. <laughs> if that's an instrument, yeah, no, I don't know. Is gong, an instrument? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, right. I would say. So, yeah. speaking still to villagers, who is y'all's favorite villager on your island right now? That's a tough one. Dom. My favorite villager, Dom. Dom. Okay. Who is Dom? I have Dom as well, but he is not my favorite. Why is he your favorite, Tyler? Uh, he's just spunky. I like that. He's okay. kind of funny. Just has like it's like oh inspiration hit me on the fifty sixth mile of my run. It's like <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. He just makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. Okay. What he's also you, pretty fat, sh like sheep too. Yeah, he's so wide. <laughs> I gave him a hot dog costume that he's been wearing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I've been doing instead of terraforming. <laughs> okay, priorities. I like him. I like him. I like it. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, my favorite villager in, in my village right now is Klaus. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. He is a bear who wears a toga, and he likes to think he's uh, cultured and speak other languages, but he, he doesn't understand the other languages. Um, but he's <laughs> hilarious. He I got very lucky and got him in the campsite when I first got the campsite, and I, was, I literally just complained about having terrible villagers. And then, boom, Klaus in the campsite, and he has been my best villager sense i You're love right the silence die. house mm -hmm. i love clothes he wears i think his personality is hilarious he's got a little caesar cut going on it's nice. just fantastic he is my animal crossing best friend right now no shit <laughs> hell yeah what about you jake you have a favorite uh i gotta i gotta go with bud Bud is a uh big friendly lion okay he wears uh pink sunglasses and uh 
green Hawaiian shirt. Okay. And he talks about how his uh, workout routines, saying that he's going to do 600 sit-ups in a day. <laughs> <laughs> I do oh love the, the jock personality traits of some of yeah. these characters. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yep. I have two of myself, uh, Tybalt and Dom. And Tybalt will every now and then shout muscle madness. Literally oh. takes up the entire chat bubble in all caps. It's beautiful. And it is awesome. <laughs> I've so only who's had... your favorite, Dylan? Oh, my favorite? So... That's a difficult one because for a long time I've thought it was Stitches, the little patchwork teddy bear that um, mm-hmm. talks. Uh, the bugs on his floor talk to him in the middle of the night and give him like DIY <laughs> recipes. He's always talking about his how his his clothes are covered in crumbs and crust, and he's he's kind of a repulsing character. But God, I love him so much. But I think we can my, see why. I, yeah, well, of course. I mean, you know, you know. I think though my favorite villager is Carrie the kangaroo. She like oh. she was one of my first villagers. She's got a little Joey, so she's she's a, a single mom, right, living on this island all by herself. She's just the <laughs> sweetest. Uh, now I get it. The sweetest. What? What do you got? Continue. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like she was the first villager that I caught like watering my plants and like just the little things that she does like around the village it kind of she she almost kind of feels like the, the the island mom in a lot of ways um so much so that i've now pretty much started a campaign a hate campaign against one of the character one of the villagers rodney the uh, the hamster um <laughs> you know I, I i walked up to carrie one day and she was huffing and puffing and she was very upset and i i was chatting with her i was trying to figure out what the problem was and apparently rodney had spoiled something for her and she was very upset. You know, she, she's she's a single mom. She doesn't have time, right, to get caught up on everything. And Rodney didn't give a shit. <laughs> Just ruined something for her. And 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 pretty much what since then, it's been, yeah, it's been a, a fire campaign to get this dude out of my island. <laughs> so, yeah, Carrie, I think, is my favorite villager. And I, did, I didn't expect it. I have, I've had Apollo, uh, the eagle. Which, you know, I just looked up on Nookazon. I could have asked for a million bells for him. He just left <laughs> willy-nilly. So, yep. cool. I have like four villagers on Nookazon for a million right now. That's and that, I gotta say, that's pretty that's pretty different right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I've had Walker, who gave me an asteroid, which is super cool. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, and now I have Elvis, who is the lion, the regal lion who has like oh. the king garb, you know, he talks like he's the king of the jungle, right? Like he's pretty Doesn't cool. He, have a scar? he what? Doesn't he have a scar on his he face? Does? Yeah. He has a, he has a cross scar on his face. An ex- oh, my sounds gosh. like you have Spud King's brother on your Island right now. He's really cool, but yeah, <laughs> Car- Carrie takes the, takes the cake, man. Carrie's also on my Island and I definitely mm-hmm. love her. She just She's... started calling me cupcake yesterday, oh, which man. I thought was really cute. Oh, nothing more satisfying than a mom calling you cupcake Mm -mm. exactly i love the catchphrases though and i love that what is it so i've only had one jock character from he he was one of my first two starting characters and uh his name was igly and he was a penguin oh i got him now yeah he eventually ended up calling me vitamin d and i loved it and it was just it was my favorite (laughs) thing for him to just shout out it was great i love that Uh, look it's vitamin d those little moments I uh I have a squirrel on my island named Blair, and they call me Nutlet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Nutlet, and it's I was beautiful. just like, oh, <laughs> this is a kid's game. Um. <laughs> and I think it's it says a lot about like the game is definitely trying to form bonds and connections, and like these. I've never cared about my villagers in any game, and I think that they've really improved in this one. Or maybe it's just, like, the way that I'm playing the game. I'm giving my villagers different outfits, and, like, seeing them change into them is, like, really, like, nice and rewarding to see. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's been, the villagers are, like, such a crucial part. And there's, what, over 300 villagers? Almost 400 different villagers that you can get in the game. So it has that almost gotta catch them all kind of gimmick to it right you obviously don't want them catch all because you know you can some only of them have are 10. ugly well yeah that too but you this is this game is is a marathon not a sprint right so it's kind of like right. over time like and that's why i've been cool with like letting some of the cooler villagers leave is like i just want to see the next one 
Like I'm just constantly like every time someone leaves, I'm you know I'm I'm sad when when they're a villager that I actually like, but like mm-hmm. I'm so excited for the next day to see like who's gonna pop up on one of the Nook Mile Islands or who's gonna show up in my campsite. It's so really fun. Mm-hmm. I've got to say because yeah. it's very difficult to get rid of villagers, right? It's absolutely difficult. Mm-hmm. I think what could be done, right? Mm-hmm. Why not have more visitors to the campsite? Yeah. Why not, right? Because it is a surefire way to get rid of somebody, you know? Right. It is slow. Like, I've had only two campsite villagers since I've gotten the campsite, and I've been playing for a month. And it's like, that seems a bit slow to me. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be every day. I'm not asking for that, but like once a week, maybe? Like, that'd be a good way to get like a guaranteed, like, okay, once a week I get a guaranteed villager leaving, right? If I don't want them. Would be nice. Yeah. Absolutely. I was waiting to implement the battle royale mode. Oh, with the dude. first one out and kicked off the island. Oh, please. Can't wait. Where are we dropping, boys? Give Able sisters? Let's go. All right. So <laughs> we all feel pretty good about Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's that's easy to see. Um, yep. I was wondering where everyone's thoughts were come the end of the year. Okay. We have a lot of games, a lot of big games slated for the end of the year. And of course, everybody loves to talk about the game of the year contenders. We have Cyberpunk 2077 that's still on the slate, as well as The Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Shushi- Shushi- Tsushima? Tsushima. Ghost of Sushi. Ghost of Shushi. Shushi. Uh, the Avengers, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and uh, World of Warcraft Shadowlands, amongst you know many more. But do you all think. Animal Crossing New Horizons has a place in that conversation of Game of the Year? Um, I feel like with Animal Crossing New Horizons, it would be very... I don't think it would be Game of the Year contender yet. And the reason I say that is because, don't get me wrong, I've been absolutely enjoying this game. Putting mm-hmm. together my town, I've put so much time into this game that I absolutely love it. But at the same time, you also have to kind of think like, hey, Game of the Year is really popular vote when you think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Animal Crossing has its own niche market, right? It's not like it's going to be on like the God of War level where that's the game almost everybody loves. Or the, or you could even say like Assassin's Creed Odyssey where it's a game that almost everyone who plays it loves it. Don't get me wrong. I think it could definitely be a nominee. Mm -hmm. Who's to say it would win or not, but I think it would be too soon to say that it has a place just yet because, you know, it is only May right now. I think, you know, a little more down the line, once we see what the rest of the year has for us, Mm -hmm. then we'd have a better idea of it. You know what I mean? Okay. Fair enough. I, um, I, for the similar reasons, do think it'll be a contender for um, Game of the Year. I think it is absolutely a popularity contest, and mm-hmm. I think the timing of Animal Crossing couldn't have been more perfect for it. Oh, I agree. Um, on the actual release, which just yeah. just kind of boosted up how popular it was to the point where Switches themselves were sold out. Yep. And, I, you know, it's... I think that Animal Crossing could absolutely be a contender for it. Um, thinking back to previous nominees we saw, there there has every now and then been one of those ones where it's just like, you know, maybe it's an outside person who hasn't played or hasn't seen the hype, and you're like, well, that's so weird. Why is that on there? Because typically you do have either your massively multiplayer games or your epic single uh, single player adventures come up on the uh, game of the year scale, but you do still every now and then have those those outliers and i think animal crossing could be that outlier this year that we see up there because usually you have about five nominees so what's to say that spot number five is taken by animal crossing because it is just a popularity contest i 100 percent agree i mean your point completely i think animal crossing 100 percent has earned the 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 spot in the conversation and i think it has a really good shot at winning um just i think for the experience overall and we kind of i i feel um what with the world as it is animal crossing new horizons has kind of been this year's pokemon go in a lot of ways right so it's like bringing a lot of people together it's kind of been this phenomenon on the internet on twitter and this like force of positivity that's just kind of really nice to see and i think just kind of 
it plays into the game, the way you know the themes of the game, the the, the style and everything. It's a great point. Mm-hmm. But okay, cool. It definitely would be that unique pick. Yeah, and it wouldn't be surprising. But maybe that's also because we're in the community, or you know, this is a game that we all love. So yeah, it wouldn't be too surprising to see. <laughs> there is some bias there. <laughs> Just a bit, just a bit. Mm-hmm. But all right, guys, well, that, was, that was a pretty thorough discussion. We got some points across. We definitely, uh, I feel we're all on a similar page with how we feel about Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yep. Um, all, right. all right, so. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. <clears throat> Good song. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get into our last segment here called What Are We Playing, right? So, Jake, what are you playing? Gotta be honest, Mm -hmm. it's the one Assassin's Creed game I haven't completed other than the first one, because Mm -hmm. fuck the first Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. (laughs) I recently started it back up. Um, I loved Origins, and I really loved playing through Odyssey, but... For some reason, I just kind of fell off of it, and now that I'm starting it back up again, you know, after some, you know, frame rate graphic issues, finally got through it, and I'm really enjoying my time playing it. Nice. Okay. Tommy, what are you playing? Um, I'm currently also playing a little bit of Odyssey, um, going back and revisiting the, the expansions that I didn't play. Really just getting back into it because of the Valhalla announcement, honestly. Oh, yeah. um, also still playing World of Warcraft try to get new people into that all the time because you know that's a gaping soul sucking hole yeah and just see what happens it's a void of hours yeah no that's fair yep what a good friend <laughs> thank you you're welcome i feel like that was that was a little a little bit towards me huh you trying to i don't know i don't know you gonna log back in i don't know man i don't know man. There's, there's too many things to play <laughs> all right tyler what are you playing um i've actually I've kind of just been playing a lot of different games because I've been trying to capture footage for uh, something that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. But um, one that has actually uh, I've played a lot of recently. So revisiting Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's actually been kind of cool since I'm playing it, like not with the intent of completing it, but just of like, you know, trying to capture certain footage. So it's kind of cool to go back to the world. Super visually pleasing game to play. It's like right. the Rockstar Telltale game. Yeah, basically. Kind of, yeah. And and not the right ways, but that's fine. <laughs> Don't Great say too story, much, okay? Though. I'm working on a video, so. You're, uh, wait, uh, okay, shameless plug? Shameless plug? Shameless plug. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I like that. Humble brag. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty much in the same point I was last week. I'm playing uh, Persona 5 Royal right now. Uh, also trying to work on a video for that, possibly. And then, yeah, same, same with you guys. I'm playing Odyssey again. I played it a lot uh, the beginning or the middle of last year um, kind of fell off for whatever reason, something must've come out. Um, but it's just been nice to get back to. And yeah, the, the Valhalla an- announcement really is what pushed me towards it. And uh, I just kind of forgot a lot of the reasons why I fell in love with that game and why it's, it's a really good game. There's obviously problems. I think the map is bloated. So I hope Valhalla kind of shrinks the map a bit it doesn't need to be as expansive or like uh, to quote the IGN uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire review. There's too much water, right? There's just too much water, man. (laughs) You can never have too much water. No, you can. And it's, it's an odyssey. It's, it's not great. The, the ship combat's fine. And like, it's fine. I just don't, it's not my speed. It's not my jam, but okay, cool. Well, that's the third episode of Quick Save. Um, I don't know anything you guys want to end with. Any 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 insightful words? Still Take convinced your time. that uh, Carol Baskin did it. Still convinced. Still convinced. Are we still on Tiger King? Uh, I feel like everybody's moved away from Tiger King. Holds are cool. Seven. I'm rewatching it to be honest. <laughs> I got to catch all the stuff I missed, man. <laughs> that Christ. it's such a bonkers show. Oh man, so good. What about you, Tommy? What do you what do you got something for me? Uh, holes are cool holes are cool yeah no holes are like they're cool yeah and cheese and yeah the movie and the book yeah the, the book yeah shia shia can i do the outro for this one hey, you want to do the you want to do the outro 
I want to do it. I want to do it. Go do the outro. Go ahead, Jake. Take us home. All right, a quick save team. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, stay tuned for episode four and a uh, quick save team out. Ski skirt. Beautiful wrap up, Jake. <laughs>